fishing squad. Well, it's, a, it's a, a day after the Phoebe Pike. We're going back down to the same spot. So, uh, I think a lot of my emotions get better for me in that video last night. I was just giddy as, giddy, giddy as hell. It was just a good, just been a good storyline to channel on to me trying to get a, a pike. Um, even the video yesterday, I thought, without bigging myself up, uh, I have got a bit of a ego boost from it, as you can imagine. I just think the storyline on the channel has been pretty good, really. And it's just typical to catch one on a small lure like that. I'm not going to run as many risks as what we did yesterday without using leaders and stuff. We'll have to tackle scrap first. I'm going to pick some more. We're going with a small approach still, but we're going to obviously we'll look for some fluorocarbon leaders, lighter ones, not like the really thick, like, trimmer cable ones. Um, you know, just to give us a bit of a buffing leader, just in case. I mean, nine times out of ten, I reckon that if you hook a fish, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's sea fishing, pike fishing or whatever, as long as your line's not slack, it's highly unlikely to engulf the lure down too far. However, pike do have a big gob, don't they? Not like other fish, like your pollock, your mackerel, your uh, perch, your bass, etc. So, yeah, we're going gonna to do it like that. We're going to go like, because it's fun. You know, if we're just catching perch, we're happy. I'm sure there'll be some perch about, if nothing else. We're going to hit some tackle shop, like I say. Um... No two sessions at the same other, that's another rule of fishing, rule general rule of thumb. So we'll see how we get on, so we'll see you at the mark. Thank you very much. We need to tackle shop, as I was saying. Got some uh, got fluorocarbon leaders. I've got picked up some fluorocarbon leaders. Point sixty diameter, and we've also got some of these lures, spinners that have got them plates on. That's what we were catching fish on last night. So I'll go with that and see what happens. I haven't got my camera mount today, unfortunately. But uh, Nick's down there. If I need her to film anything, I'm sure she'll. Uh, I'm running out bank after me. So uh, let's have a go. It's looking good, looking good like it was last night. I'd expect to at least get some perch based on what happened yesterday, but like I say, no two sessions are the same. Uh, we might blank, we'll see. Today, uh, I expected one of these. I'm just going to get him an up. Just give me a sec, I'm on my own at the moment. We'll have a bit of a close look at him. Let's have a look out of him. Uh, hang on, hang on my camera mount with me unfortunately. He looks uh, aggressive. There you go guys, oh, how much you saw? I, I, I actually had the f camera in my mouth then. Nice little perchy. Get him back out camera a minute then. Nice little perch. Put him back. Obviously we weren't going to keep him. <laughs> Just, uh, hey, we're going to keep fishing. A few more casts. We can get another one. Another one, a bit bigger this time, much bigger. Just going to spin camera around. Right, I need to unhook him with the forceps because he swallowed it up quite a way down. Well, a couple of casts after that perch. I've got, a, I've got a jack pike. <laughs> Second day on a row, I've got a pike. Get in. Just let me get him unhooked. Let's uh, try and get about this net. Hold him up for a bit of a, a for a screenshot picture. There you go, guys. There you go, baby. That's the smallest pike I've ever caught. Get in. Oh, well. Uh, Get him put, put him back in there <clears throat> and then we'll release him into margin. It just shows you, doesn't it? Three three quick fish in that oxygenated water where it comes down for weir. There you go. He's a lively fellow. So we'll get this hook out of there and then we'll put him back in margin in there. Give him a second or two to recover. And he can be on his way. Good lad. Drop him in here. Give him a second or two to recover. In a way, yeah, let's call it net. Let's wait there. 
tip that inside out. There he goes. Off he goes. Gone. Nice one. Let's try and get another one. Two perch and a jack bike. So it's been quite dead though in general. Had two fish to start with really quickly, then it went quiet, and I got that pike. I lost two lures on a snag at the bottom of the falls. Yeah. So I'm gonna move around to the other side. There's a little bit of a waterfall that runs down the side at falls. We'll try and fish bottom of that, see if there's any perch. Just go 15 more minutes and get off of him. Well, it's been a nice little session, really. The guy fishing over there a minute ago, he had um, about four pound pike out. It's gone back quiet and ready to move, so makes sense, really. So, 15 20 more minutes, I'm going to get off. I thought I might caught a few more perch when it started, but it didn't last. I'll open by moving, we'll find some more fish. I've been waiting for fish to come to us. We'll go have a look on the other side and see what happens. On here, we haven't caught anything else. Not the best footage today because I've got my mount, but saw what I caught two, pike, uh, two perch, one pike. Yeah? Yeah. Oh right, yeah, my mount went car apparently. Yeah, you said don't look and you picked it up crazy and just picked it up and brought it again. Alright, apparently my mount's in car. But um, anyway, that's that's it for today's session. Won't have for too long. Certainly becoming more productive at the lower fishing, so starting to enjoy it a bit more now. Obviously if you're catching fish you will do. So just to see what Tomorrow brings possibly. Um, might try carp fishing somewhere tomorrow. See what happens. But quite happy with what's happened over the last couple of days. So, other than that, keep safe, tight lines, and have a good one. I'll see you later.